All right. So I'm I'm by heart and I'm here with Sal Khan and Hello. Yeah, we're we're talking about just how we think about numbers and what what is the most natural way to think about them in our everyday lives. And Vi said that she was going to test me right now. I uh, yeah. All right. Can I can I bring yes. a pen? Yes. Yes. I get to use the official pen and screen. Oh wait, I'm no, that's off screen. screen. Okay. Yes, I need okay. to. You need training, Vi. I need training. Yay. It looks like a like a pizza. It's it's a triangle. Right. Where's where's your test, Vi? Okay. You're diverging. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> all right. So here's the number line. Uh, regular old numbers line. No, wait. I want to start at one. All right. We're gonna start at one. We're gonna go all the way to a million. And I'm gonna give you the pen now, and I'm gonna ask, where is 1,000? Where is 1,000? Where's 1,000? I see. <laughs> I see what you're doing. So, so you can think about this yes. logically. Yes. So, so I, I'll tell you what went through my what went through my brain. My my first knee jerk reaction was to put 1,000 was to put 1,000 like right over here. That's that's what I was tempted to do. Mm -hmm. And then my brain kicked in. Right. My, yeah, my highly it... analytical mind. Yeah, because you know there there is a correct answer to this problem. We can right. think, Be, all right. Because oh yeah. Yeah, where where is one thousand on the number line related to a million? Well, it, a million divided by a thousand is a thousand. One thousand. Thousand, right? So it's not there. I was gonna draw it like a tenth of the way. No, a thousand, a thousand is like, like like there. Like all like you know you would you barely notice the difference. Yeah, you that couldn't and, even see the difference. Yes. A thousand. Let me, let me. So, so this this is fascinating. What what is what is this about? Like, what, why why did I why did I do that? Yeah, why why do we think of a thousands as being much closer to a million than it is? And we we do this actually all the time. Uh, we're not so used to having to think about the difference between a thousand and a million. But when we're thinking about the difference between one and two, or the difference between two and three, or one and ten, um, we we think you know one and two. There's a big difference there. Two is yeah. like twice what yes, one is. Yes, it's twice one, right. And the difference between 9 and 10 is the same distance when you're looking at it at the usual scale. It's one. Right, right. Uh, but when we're thinking about real life things, well, the difference between 9 and 10 isn't so big in any real life situation. No, but but the difference between 1 and 2 is huge. In yeah. real life, it's double. Yes. Right. So now we have to think on, on a logarithmic scale is what it is. Oh, yeah. yes, the old logarithmic scale. So what mm -hmm. you're saying is that we, we, as humans, even though everything we're taught is these linear scales where we want to say, you know, this is 1, and that maybe this is 10, and then that this is 20, even though that's where we're taught and that's what most of our mathematics, we, we plot lines and yeah, stuff like that's, that. Yeah, that's how we draw it out on paper usually. Yes. Um, but that doesn't make sense usually for for how we think about things because the difference between five gazillion and five gazillion and ten is is nothing nothing is whereas nothing. the difference between one and ten is huge right 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 and so that's why almost the multiple matters more than the the kind of absolute distance between the numbers yeah we, Absolutely. And, and that's what the logarithmic scale captures it is and that's why we see the logarithmic scale in so many things in real life um as a math musician on the piano, uh, we see it on. Yes. It's actually the logarithmic scale. So let's get our piano picture. Oh, up. look at that! There's a piano. Yeah. The, okay. Okay. Can I here have you a go. Pen? Yes. All right. Let's see if I can figure this out. All right. So here we have this C. Let's call it middle C. And here we have this D. And you know, there, there's a certain distance between these. Um, and then here's this C and this D. And right when we're listening. To, to these notes, we, we think, all right, they're one note apart. This is like the same distance here, between here and here and here and there. Yes. Um, but if you look at the actual frequencies, um, the distances are not the same. It's, it's uh, oh, this is maybe a bad example because I don't know the frequency of D, but. No, well, yeah. we could. Well, we I'll, I'll give you an example I can give numbers to, which is maybe the difference between this octave and the difference between this octave, right? If this is C, um, Call it X, whatever X. the frequency is. Right, yes. It's like, this, <laughs> this is like a 440 killer. I don't know. No, what four, it is. A, a is 440. Oh, a is 440. C is well, we call more it X. like, I don't it's, know, let's say 300. Yes. All right. So if this is 300 or 300X or just X, um, then this frequency would be 600. 600, right. It doubles. It doubles when you, when you go up an octave. Um, and this would be 1200 up here, this C. Um, Oh, right, we're we're in a weird scale here, but all right. So the difference between here is three hundred, and the difference between here is six hundred. 
Um, but, you know, when we're listening to octaves, we feel like the difference between this octave shouldn't be half as much as the difference between these two notes, right? The distance from an octave should be an octave, right? Right. So our, our sense of pitch is fundamentally, the way we, we perceive the, pitch yeah. is, is logarithmic. It's just fundamentally logarithmic. If you want all of these, when, if you want to have all your notes on the piano be right next right. to each other, instead of having a piano where you have like one key for C here and one key for C here, and the next C is going to be like yeah, over twice here, Twice as right? far. Yeah. The, yeah. And, and the next C in the piano would have to be like... So, so if piano manufacturers made... did So they, they, in, they innately made it based on a logarithmic scale, whether they knew it or yeah, not. Yeah, because we think about it on a logarithmic They could have made it scale. on a linear scale, and then the, the keys would just get fatter and fatter as we went to the right. Oh, yeah, fatter keys. And Someone should make that. Apart, a, a linear scale piano. piano, yes. That would be awesome. And that's But that's not how we think no, of pitch. It might be hard to play, to play that. So that's, it and it's awesome not, it's not, and it's just not pitch. It would also even be how we perceive um, uh, a kind of magnitude of of the frequencies, because we have the decibel scale, which is a logarithmic scale. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of natural, intuitive logarithmic scales. So when when we're looking at how loud something is, that's also all right. The difference between, you know, how how I'm talking now and how I'm talking if I'm a little louder, and uh, yes. that's gonna be. We feel like distances between the, loudness also. Are, are, right, we, we perceive explain. it a lot. It is yeah. harder to explain. I, I don't we'll, have any we'll pictures of how loud we don't, something no, is. No. We, and we don't uh, want to bother people by just getting louder and louder. By screaming. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can <laughs> scream at you some more. There. It would be great. Right. right. No, but that, that's fascinating, especially this little game here. I mean, this this is where well, I'm going to start doing this at the next party mm -hmm. I go to. It's good, and it makes sense. When, when we're looking at things, the difference between how much a million dollars and ten million dollars. Yes. Just the world follows these kind of rules. Right, right, right. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome.